Hey everybody, how's it going? Today is April 7th, 2022. It's a Thursday. You know what that means. Let's get on to Monster Strike News. As you can see, uh, if you watch Monster Strike News, they totally changed up the theme. So now it's like in uh, dark mode. So I guess I got to update a whole bunch of my stuff too to follow. But uh, we'll see if I get to that or not. But anyways, uh, we've got some new quests coming. Scherzando. Her debut is tomorrow at 7 p.m. Japan time. So if you want to take her on at her debut uh, appearance, don't forget about that. It is a Bakuzetsu level quest. Uh, we also have Monster Strike Day coming very soon on the 10th. On that day, you can also pick up a Tokudama for the current event, as well as five Stamina Mins, which I really like. And if you have enough of the... Um, lucky monsters for that week you can also pick up some tickets there i don't believe they said actually on the text it is the uh the guaranteed gold uh temple uh ticket so uh if you are interested in that you can pick up two of those and hopefully you haven't been forgetting about the my keep gotcha every day um personally i since it's really quick i haven't i, I mean i guess i could have done some shorts but i don't I don't really like watching shorts, so uh, I don't. I'm not going to produce them. I think so. I'll just have a big video at the end uh, to show the progression of how that went. Uh, but remember, you know, make sure you do it each day so that you get the option to pick between one of two monsters each day to pick up that nice monster at the end. Hopefully, uh, we're also hitting the one-year anniversary of Terra. And his quest means you're going to be able to unlock a special item to help you out with the quest. And for his quest, it is the de nullify or just neutering of the damage walls. It will reduce the damage of the damage walls by 99.99%. So you can basically take on that quest without having to worry about damage walls as a gimmick. We're also going to get the Uncharted Lands Floor 32 that will be coming next week on the 14th. So hopefully you've been keeping up, making sure you clear it each stage, which means you can take on the newest one when it comes out fresh. We also are getting a new Chozetsu Kai, which is the impossible Kai level. We've got Kesed in his, I guess, albino form. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, his Kai quest will feature these five sub bump combos again remember they are sub bump combos so their effectiveness is quite neutered but it is better than nothing which is what his current form would have so consider taking a look at this for those sub bump combos and here is the meat for today's news we are getting a new quest adventure and it is dealing with cooking uh we're gonna be getting ingredients we're gonna be cooking food and then we're gonna be taking on monsters based on that food we made uh, basically, in that area, we're going to have three quests available. The left one is to collect ingredients, the middle one is to cook ingredients, and the right one is to take on the insidious quest, given the food that you've created. So yes, you are literally collecting materials, cooking food, and then playing with the food you made. And so in that leftmost icon, you're going to be taking on various monsters which will drop specific ingredients on the left you can see if you take on uh i already forgot what his name was uh what was it it's the one from don quixote right whatever the briareo i think the the windmills right um so if you take on his quest the ingredients you can get from his quest are rice onions and fruit if you're going to take on the uh, middle quest, you're going to be able to get rice, carrots, and uh, fish. And then if you're taking on the right quest, I think that was, uh, uh, what was it? No, I can't remember. Um, milk, potatoes, and eggs. So you're getting ingredients, and what are you going to do with them? I already told you, we're going to be cooking food. Uh, now, I guess before we go into there... Um, when you clear those quests, you can get some bonus chests, which will guarantee you uh, food ingredients. If you clear it, you'll get two chests off the bat, right? So congrats, you cleared, you'll get two chests. If you play co-op, you'll get a plus one on top of that. And if you eat a specific food item to take on that quest, you will get another chest. 
right? So in in all, you can get up to four quests, four chests that will guarantee you ingredient drops. All right. So let's look at what cooking is involved. So obviously, you want to be able to combine the ingredients that you've collected. You're gonna cook them, and then you get an actual food item. So for example, here we've got the recipe for some uh, white stew. You get carrots, potatoes, and onions. You put them in a pot, cook them up, get some roux in there, you'll get some white stew. And what does that white stew do? Well, for this item is that you will, on the start of every map stage, you'll be able to reduce all monsters HP by 10%, right? So it's like that able berry you have that will cut, you know, per HP percentage. Um, different food will have different effects. I will have that translated and I'll probably have a separate video for this whole food section just because it is seem like a pretty big deal for the month of April. Um, so, you know, stay tuned for that to get all the lowdown on cooking with Monster Strike. <clears throat> and so you can see on the left that basically the food items will replace your normal set of helper items that you can take on for the quest. Now, this is important. These helper items only apply to that food area. So you're not going to be able to use these bonuses for other quests. So do keep that in mind. Uh, but you can see that there's going to be some interesting rewards that you can get. Like that parfait there is giving you a plus one on the chest drops, which definitely sounds nice. Um, that middle fried rice looks like it might help you, you know, increase the HP recovery um, from the panels on that stage. <clears throat> so... Um, you know, you'll be able to pick them what you want to use for the stage to help you out, make your life a little bit easier to farm those quests. And so we were talking about the foods that you can make. There's different categories uh, based on the food, you know, stages that you made. Um, and they'll give you different results. So like, for example, on the top left, it says that uh, the uh, egg, what, omelets, right? The tamagoyakis. Uh, this will give you, you know, two plus two chests. Um, from the uh, special rewards or something like the crepe on the top right which will also give you an extra chest uh, right I think that's what we we're talking about in the other uh, the examples earlier or something like the pizza there in the yellow section uh, that will give you attack bonuses 1.5 times your normal attack and bump combo levels and you can see that they have various levels of, uh, attached to it right that pizza is at level 4 the tamagoyaki is at level 1, the crepe is at level 3. So the more you level up these foods, the greater their rewards will be. So we'll have to see how these effects leveling really comes into place. Again, I fully expect to do another video about that. So stay tuned when that all the details are ready. Uh, I have not checked if the news posts online have the details already. And I did say there was an insidious quest. We're going to be taking on this you know, skeleton dragon here. His name is Glotonil. Uh, he is an insidious level. And basically, you know, those three icons, that third icon will allow you to take on Glotonil here. Um, he is max luckable, so you will need to farm for him. Your goal, obviously, for this whole session is to probably max luck him. Hopefully, he's worth it. Um, do note that he does drop a special item himself it is glutton meat i guess it's i don't know where the meat's coming from since he's obviously just bones but oh well anyways don't worry about that in addition for clearing these quests you'll be collecting gourmet coins uh you'll be getting coins for clearing any of the uh food quests that we were talking about before there's also a food of the day that if you are able to make that food you'll be getting coins for that, right? So it says right here, the food of the day is tamagoyaki. You make that, you'll get 200 coins as a result. This food of the day resets at 4 a.m. each day. So make sure you check in to see what you need to make for that day so that you can get some extra rewards. In addition, if you have too many of a certain ingredient, you can sell those ingredients for coins as well. So there are many ways to get coins in this event. And what will you do with the coins? Of course, you exchange them for goods and services in the game. Uh, you can get some titles, which are on the left, if you can read them. And then on the right, there's a bunch of items that you are very familiar with that you may or may not want, such as the super type scroll, a waku waku stick, or maybe that Eruberbell is something you'd like. 
Uh, there is more than what you see there, so we'll see what the whole um, you know lineup looks like. Whether or not we'll get 20 orbs that we can exchange if you've uh, taken enough coins, who knows? Uh, but basically, yeah, you know, here's a, a summary of what you can do with these quests. Right? Again, on the leftmost icon, you're going to be playing that stage to collect food ingredients. You'll take on that middle, or not take on. You'll go to the middle stage to craft those food ingredients into food and then using the food you can help yourself out to the quest out there for the insidious stage to get uh, gluttonial there on the top right and try to max luck him on the other hand you're while you're doing all these quests you're going to also be collecting these coins which you can also be uh, getting them in, in exchange for other ways but ultimately you're exchanging those coins for items to help you out with the game Alright, and that is it for that quest. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But we are still going because we have a new Midnight Party that is the Dark Element Gacha exclusive. Her name is Luna here. And Luna, this is her transcended form. I think it looks really nice, that art. Uh, here is her stats here. We've got Super Null Gravity Barrier, Null Damage Wall, Null Magic Circle on the main. We've got Gauge, Null Block, Vital Killer L, Drain, and I'm not sure why... That last block is not orange, but it is on the gauge. It is the wall strike shot turn reducer once again. Strike shot is a 20 plus 4 power up and will also power up all touch friendlies for a set amount of turns. Bump combo is a bound charge as well as Chozetsu blast. Speed type as well, so that's always cool to see. Um, I know people will be groaning that she's not a pierce type, but um, you know, we've got gravity berry damage wall again. That combo seems to be on the rise lately, uh, which is interesting to see. But you also get Null Magic Circle and Block, which is nice to see. Drain and Vital Killer are a great source of keeping your team alive. So I um, think a very interesting uh, prospect here to roll for. And if you are interested, don't forget, since it is April, she is going to be in a gacha that will take advantage of the 24% boost for 5-star gacha monsters. The first single pull and the first 10 pull you do on that gacha will be at 24%. Now again, I have to say this every time because I think people will get the wrong idea. Do not forget that all it does is increases the rates of getting a 5 star monster, not any of the limited monsters. That percentage stays unchanged even with the 24%. All it does is it reduces the 12% that was added that would have been a 4 star monster to be any other possible five star monster all right so that expected percentage chance to get a limited monster is unchanged please do not forget that all right we'll go to the transcended monsters for this week first we'll start with chohakai here his uh other name that you may be familiar with is zubayajie which I probably butchered. Uh, but here is his stats. Here we got Flight, Null Speed Down Wall. Uh, we got the Robot and Vivolith Tithe, which are Slayer L levels. Uh, null Block, as well as Strike Shot Turn Reducer on the gauge. Connect skill is Super Null Warp and Mahuji L, which is the Demon's Bane ability. And uh, the requirements there is pretty easy. All you need is one or more monsters that are different is a different class than Chohakai here, or your total team luck is at least 100. Strike Shot is an A plus 16, and I don't think this has changed. Every time you bump into a monster, he'll do a spread shot of piercing bullets around him. Bump Combo is a 18 Reflect Shockwave, as well as the Chozetsu Poison Spread 16. Will be interesting to see if that Bump Combo makes a difference, but again, you know, he has Slayers all over the place, so if you have that a quest that is targeting all of those robots, Vivoliths, uh, and Demon's Bane type, which are, I mean, let's be honest, those are popular uh, classes as being monsters. So uh, having his bump combos activated on that and his bump combo being an easy activatable uh, is definitely good to see for his viability. The standard transcension that is coming along will be featuring Xavier here and her Stats look like the following. We've got Null Damage Wall, Mind Sweeper L, Deity Slayer M, as well as a Resisting to uh, Deity Types M uh, on the main. 
Gage is a null block and strike shot turn reducer. Strike shot for her is a 20 plus 8 power up and will paralyze any enemies you hit their weak point. Uh, mm. Bump combo is a fire chose to pierce spread EL3 along with attack and speed up. Um, right, balance type that's always good to see, especially with a bump combo that meets uh, her uh, element. Damage wall, minesweeper with the slayers on the main as well. Uh, we get no block, which is cool to see, and you've got uh, strike shot turn reducer. And you no, know, I, I enjoy the paralyzing on weak point that can definitely help you out in a pinch if you time that right. And that is it for today. Like, yeah, like you see here, uh, we've got that new black sleek theme going on. So, I guess I'll have to, you know, play Simon Says with that too. But next week, same time as usual. And here are the lucky monsters for this week. Hopefully, you farm those limited time monsters that came back. I'm actually worried that I didn't do Titania Dragon. I know I skipped one at the end. I stopped at like 30 or 40. But um, I might be out of luck next week. We'll see. Uh, but hopefully you have the necessary monsters. Anyways, that's it for today. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, especially for the food stuff. I'll try to do that in advance, but look forward to a video on that because it does seem like there's going to be a lot of moving parts with that. And I want to make sure that you don't miss out on the details there. Um, but that's all for me today. If you like what you saw, hit the like, subscribe. Twitter has all of these slides on them. Actually, I think I might have forgotten to post them tonight, but uh, I'll have that done right away. Um, so take a look at that for the summary of news. You can also follow us on the Discord channel to talk with other folks who will be able to help you out in your time of need. And hey, they also speak English, which is nice. So that's it for me today. Thank you for watching and until next time.